hi, it's Caroline here, and I'm here today to do some 3D artwork with you. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful 3D picture. Now, it looks very complex, but it's very easy to do. So I'm just gonna go through the equipment that we need, and then you, can, you should have everything at home, and then I'd like to see your finished pictures. And if you send them into Dream Media, we could make up a little film of all your entries. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how you do this. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna need a hand. You can use your left hand and your, your right hand, whichever you want to. We're gonna need a ruler, which is extremely important. A pencil. And I've got a range of five colors, six colors. Any colors that you want. These are Sharpies, but they can be any pencils or felt-tip pens, okay? So first of all, what we're going to do is, is we're gonna get our hand onto our large piece of paper. And then we're going to get our pencil and we're going to draw around our hand. If you need any help from somebody, just ask them to hold your hand gently. Or if you need somebody to draw around it for you, just ask people that you're with for help. So we're gonna draw around our hand, which is very simple and very easy. Unless you've got fingers like mine and they're quite wonky at the minute. So I hope you're all okay and you will be keeping yourself busy. And we miss you here at Smurden an awful lot and we hope that we will be seeing you very, very shortly. But in that time, we're trying to keep you busy, okay? So, as you can see, I've drawn around my hand. I don't need my pencil anymore. And this is what you should have on your piece of paper. We're now going to get our ruler there and our black Sharpie. So it's best to do it with black because then you're going to get it nice and defined so with our sharpie we're going to take the lid off and what we're going to do is we're going to go along in lines first of all so we're going to go around the outside of your hand so are we ready we need to make it wide enough so you can get the whole hand in so we're going to draw lines along and stop there and a line there and stop there and move up the ruler and when you move up the ruler, try and do it to the length of the centimetre. So again, we're going along and we're stopping. And then we start the line again, there at the end and again. So we're using this measure up and down. Okay. And we're going again. If you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to go along to the hand. Stopping at that hand, and then we're going to the side of the thumb. Okay, so as you can see on the paper, we've got our pencil hand that we drew around originally, and then we've got lines only going up to the edge. Can you see the way that the hand is defined? Okay, so this is this could be tricky, so you can ask people to help you at home. So what I like to do is turn the page sideways. So what we need to do is, where you see you've got your hand, we need to do a curved line. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate. So we're going to go on a curve. So we're going up and we're going to join up the line there. Okay, so from the point that you stopped by the side of the hand to the point where you started again. And the same again, try and keep the same curve. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because it will just add to the individuality of the piece of art. Work your way up the hand. Okay, so as you can see. That's what we've left. So we've got our straight lines. Straight lines that we did first. And then the second bit are your curves. If you can see most probably, it looks like there is a hand there. But follow the lines with your colours. I'm just doing this quick for time. Okay. But you need to make sure all the white's covered. You need to be careful with the surface that's underneath because it can leak through the paper. So there's my first line done. Okay, so I'm just tidying this one up and this is one I did earlier today, just as a tester. So this is what it should look like. So this is your 3D hand. As you can see, if you look up closely, it's just lines and curves. But when you look at it in different angles, you can actually see the hand there. So that's what yours should look like. So what I'd like you to do is give it a go. Ask the people that you're currently living with or your, your friends or carers or your family. And then I'd like you to send a picture to Dream Media and then I'd like to see what you produce. So, and for next week, I'd like you to get some of these. 
because we're going to be using toilet roll insides. See you all later. Bye. Love you.